Hi everyone, Arlene here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner, which is my house. For those of you who don't know, the reason I call this my Country Craft Corner is because I'm also a blogger. And for those of you who don't know, my blog site address, I'll put it in the description down below or I'll scroll it across right here. It's countrycraft.me, it's easy. I've been blogging for about a year and a half now and and I've been branching out into YouTube since about last September. So thank you all. Let me take this opportunity to say thank you to every single one of you who keeps coming back. And for every single comment I get, I am so touched and humbled by every single one of them. So I thank you from the bottom of my heart for taking the time to watch what I'm doing over here and to comment. I really appreciate it and for every like and those dislikes eh, whatever uh, regardless I'm here to start on episode three of my organize organizing of my craft supplies <laughs> today I'm going to be working on the rest of the little garage hub that I have I've uh, actually Chris carried in my little cart that I have my flags in so I'm going to be going through each one of those drawers, there's three drawers in there, and my deco mesh, and then I have two bins out there that have my mailbox signs on them, and I'll tell you where you can get the signs if you would like to do something I similar. Know. I will take you downstairs to show you the shelving that where I keep all of my Christmas bins, fall bins, a couple of Easter bins, and a couple of patriotic bins. And I also have some other craft things down there that I really need to go through too, They've been down there pretty much since we moved in. I think that will be a big purge one day, and I may make a video of that if I can figure out how to set my camera up in the basement. Anyway, regardless, let's get started today, and I'm going to turn my camera around and get set up here on my kitchen island, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys, I'm back. I am going to start with my little basket of deco mesh rolls here. And this is the size roll that you use for those ruffled reeds. So I think I'm going to keep these. All I've ever used these for before is to make an accent bow on some of my deco mesh reeds. But I was thinking I would get rid of this and give it to Goodwill. But I think instead I will keep it and I'm going to try one of those ruffle wreaths one of these days and so I'm just going to see what I have in here and see if there's anything I can't purge like that Wouldn't that make a cute wreath that would look I already have some open like a fall wreath or some silver. I made an Easter bow out of this one year on my mailbox. I don't think there's, I'm actually gonna get rid of that. There's not enough on there to do much with a snowman wreath that I made. All right, so that's about it for, for the deco mesh. I really don't care for this green too much. I'm not a real wild, this type of green girl or these either, so I think I will give those away. And that would be cute for Easter maybe, so I'll keep that. And that about does that, oh wait, look, I have some that looks like burlap. So I'll keep that, and then I have these three and I know I combined this with regular burlap with my one Christmas wreath that I did this year. And I combined this, year. And I combined this with, uh, with deco mesh, but I would combine that with regular burlap and make a wreath and have this be the accent color. That would be kind of cool. So I'm definitely gonna keep both of these 
but I'm gonna see if they're gonna fit in this big basket. Here is my big basket of deco mesh. Oh look, there's a flower in there. That goes downstairs into the Christmas stuff. And let's see, I have one red, two red. Let's see if I can lift this up a little bit. My goodness. There we go. Green. I do have a St. Patrick's Day deco mesh wreath that I'll do a voiceover for you. I made it out of this white and green. Got a bunch of green. Got a bunch of this white. And I like this deco mesh because it's kind of a bat. I don't know whether you guys can see that. It's kind of a basket weave. And it makes a really pretty wreath. I will keep that. I'm going to purge this, but I'm not, I don't like that so much. So, and I made a wreath out of this already. So I already have this and there's not enough on there probably to make another wreath. So I'm going to purge that. And here's a bigger version of the red and white gingham. Love that. Love that. So we'll keep that. Purge the brown. I'm gonna purge that and that and that. Actually, I'm gonna trash that. There's not enough on there to do anything with. So I love this teal. So I'm gonna be keeping the teal. Keeping the teal. And I do have a lot to purge, so there we go. I am going to purge all these. I'm gonna take them to uh, actually not purge them, I will take them to Goodwill. Let's see if I can get these back in here. So there's all my deco mesh organized. Oh, let's see if I can get this up here. There we go. All right. Got that again. I already made some duct tape labels. Boy, these are fancy. <laughs> I do not have a label maker, nor do I really have a need for one, and I will not get one, but duct tape works for every little thing, doesn't it? So let's put January through April on the top drawer, May through August on the next drawer, and September through December on the next drawer. Now, this ought to be fun. I have no idea what all is in here. Y'all are gonna find out this with me. I mean, I do know some of them, of course, but some of them I haven't seen for decades. Here we go. Let's go to the top drawer first. I'm just going to take them out of here. Everything out of here. Move that out of the way for now. Let's see. This is a sunflower. How pretty is that? So that, I'm going to start making piles. will go in the August drawer. Let me move this. You know how they do the fundraisers in elementary schools? Now, one of my daughters is 32, and the other one is 29. <laughs> but I got this flag from one of their fundraisers when they were in elementary school. So I'm going to put that there for now. We used to go to the Outer Banks when my, our kids were little. We still do sometimes down in North Carolina. So I'll keep that. That's a nice summertime thing. Well, I'm finding that this is going to take way too long. I've got over an hour of video. <laughs> so I will be speeding it up in places and slowing it down and putting it at regular speed at times when I have things to say. Oh, I bought this flag. I remember this. This is... 
a geranium pot with red and white gingham. As I think I've mentioned several times, I hosted our family reunion here. And that is the flat. And uh, the, my theme for the family reunion was mason jars, red and white gingham, and Gerber daisies. And I do have a blog about that. I'll put a link for that just to show the accent pieces. This is boring. Well, I had no choice. I had to speed it up. Going through every single flag and telling you about it, it, it took me forever, to be honest with you, because I'm just a chatty Kathy, and I'll just talk y'all's ear off, even though you are through my camera. <laughs> so you'll see that some of the flags are packaged up still, and those are flags that... I've recently purchased when we've taken trips down to Williamsburg, Virginia, and they have a lovely little section of their pottery, which they've redone, but a section of their pottery is nothing but large flags like that and little garden flags, and I usually try to get a garden flag to match the large flag. So anything you see that I have still in a package, I've just recently purchased those within since we moved into this house and it is obvious that I have a ridiculous amount of flags and I think what I'm going to do is purchase another arbor we have a plow and hearth distribution center kind of thing over in Madison Virginia and I think I'm going to drive over there and buy a second flag arbor and maybe set one up out in my backyard. Nobody else will be able to see it, but we will be there. I had a flag made up of the two noofs <laughs> uh, so that I can utilize more of these flags. I guess I could put a different flag out a week. I'd probably be able to do that. <laughs> but you're getting a look at all the different flags. What I'm doing is piling them in three different piles to go in the three different drawers and I continue on here for a little while so I think I'll add a little bit of music here for you guys so I'm not adding your ears off What I'm doing here is just piling the flags in each drawer according to the month that I think I might hang them. Like that one I'm going to put up at Easter, so that'll be about the next one to go up. I'm just kind of organizing them within the drawer too because I'm not any retentive at all. <laughs> and I just fill up all three drawers in the same manner. That cart kept getting away from me. Those wheels were, they worked well. Here I am filling up the last drawer. Woo! <laughs> that, my friends, is that, as far as my flags are concerned. Alrighty. Went out and got my bins that hold all of my mailbox signs. I cleaned off the tops of them a little bit. And let me show you one of these. Here's a little sunflower, for instance. And you can see these signs have little chains on them. Two of them and what we what these are made for really are to hang like off of a front porch or off of a fence they I get, I get these, these from, from piperclassics.com and you can also buy a bracket for them to hang on but I decided I didn't have the bracket at the other house and no I did not leave these signs for those people to utilize Bad Arlen. 
Instead, I brought all the signs here because I knew I was going to be able to decorate our mailbox because it's a thing in this neighborhood to decorate your mailbox. And I knew exactly how I wanted to do, how I wanted to utilize these signs. So we screwed in two little hooks underneath part of it. I'm going to insert a picture right here just to show you how I have it done for Valentine's Day. So as you can see, I utilize the sign pretty much one a month. So, and as you can see, we also have a trough that sits on the back of the mailbox. And I always try to do a little bit of decor in there around that mason jar. There's a mason jar, solar mason jar that sits in the back of that. And I normally try to put some kind of florally decor around that mason jar. So. That's why I have all these signs, and I'm gonna start going through these and see what I have in these two bins. I'm not quite sure, but I'm gonna organize them for like January, February, March, April, May, and then June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So let's, that's a sunflower, and I used that in August. Here's a little bunny. My daughter does not like that bunny, although I think he's kind of cute. <laughs> I'm going to keep him. I'm going to keep all of these. I know I will not be getting rid of all these. They're too expensive. They, they run from about, if you can get them on sale, you can get them for maybe $20, but they can go up to $40. So I asked for these for Christmas gifts and, and birthday presents and stuff like that. I don't normally buy them myself. I usually ask for them. So this is obviously geraniums, a basket of geraniums, so that would be for spring. And here's a little snowman head. Be January or Christmas. He has holly on his hat there. And here's a pineapple. Obviously the sign of welcome. That's what's in that bin. And I don't have any of the material any of the uh, stuff that I put in the trough in that bin. So here we go. Here's <laughs> That's what I had up this January, and this bag is full of, I'll go through that, I'll show you that in a minute, what I had in there. Actually, I'm just going to show you a picture right now of what I had up for January, and all of that stuff is in this bag, and I'm just going to leave it in this bag and put it in the bin in this bag. That way, all I have to do is pick up the bag and carry it out. Carry it out to my mailbox. Here is a flag. Now he has gotten a little bit faded. This one has gotten a little bit faded over the years, so I might have to invest in another one of these. But I'm going to continue to use it. It's Mr. Turkey. I had used these obviously for fall to go along with some pumpkins. Here's a bow I had used to go with the flag. And I'm not sure what I had that with, but look at here. This is the bow that I had out on the mailbox last year. I didn't use it this year because guess why? Because I didn't take up enough time, take enough time out to look in this bin, and I went ahead and made myself another one. So I will utilize this somewhere next year. Has two little hearts dangling on it there. So put that with the heart, which is currently out on the mailbox. This will be going up next, obviously in March. In the shamrock. And look at the bow that I made last year. And look, I don't really have to buy much else. That will go back in the trough. And then this will go around the top of the mail around the mailbox itself. And this will just need a little bit of tweaking. And I have another pumpkin. 
I usually put up the jack-o'-lanterns for October and then I switch out to the pumpkin and now I got a turkey last year for Christmas so the turkey Kristen came by one time and she said mom where's your turkey I went oh I got that for Christmas we got to get the turkey out so we got it out that day and put that up for the rest of the rest of the year and then here is a star a 10 star times of the year when I just want to change so let's start in this bin for January which will be this bag of stuff and a little snowman February is out there now which will go in here then March which will be in a couple of weeks and I'm going to go ahead and put what goes with March in here as well. April, Easter, the money. I'm going to look and see if I can find like an Easter basket or something like that. Or cross, something like that. That'd be pretty. I don't know what they have. By the way, you can get these. I'll scroll across piperclassics.com and then you just do a search for hanging signs. And then you'll be able to find them. So I'll put a link in the description for you guys. I think I actually learned how to put a link right here on the page. I'll see if I can work on that. That is Sophie in the bathroom. She is in the powder room right now. Scratching her head, obviously. And she's so big that she's laying in the doorway. Anyway, let's see. January, February, March, April for May. The geraniums will go up in May. And then, and whoa, in June. June is kind of an odd month. So either the pineapple will go in or the star. I'm also going to put this bow in here. And that'll be it for this. Here we go. First half of the year's mailbox signs. All right, starting out with July, you do the flag, obviously, with this. August, I normally put the sunflower up in August. September, I usually keep the sunflower up for a while, and I might also put either the star or the pineapple up because again that's kind of a month that really doesn't have a theme apples maybe around here could be a theme but i haven't found an apple sign yet so september october will be jack-o-lanterns november this other pumpkin and the turkey the bow is very nice and I'll just fluff those out as we go and that'll go with like the the oh, I have a birdhouse too I gotta go out in my garage and search a couple more times I'll be right alrighty I had to go on a little search to find my birdhouse <laughs> but there it is and that goes up when I really don't want to put any other signs up September is a good month for this too so that's gonna go in that bin I also found what I have up for Christmas. And I had put it downstairs in an entire bin, which I will show you, of everything that I put up out on the mailbox for Christmas. It's, I got a lot of stuff. This little snowman goes too. So I'm gonna put my candy canes with the snowman. He goes back in the back trough and then I have other things. Got bells that I hang on it and a big bow and I really do it up for Christmas. Maybe I'll put a picture in right here to show you what I do for Christmas. Anyway, the candy canes go in here, along with this little snowman. 
And I'm going to go ahead and throw these couple of bows in here because I might reuse those. And what the heck, I'll go ahead and put this in here too since it'll fit. That, my friends, will do it for my garage hub. I'm going to take the camera out there and show you the finished product. And then I'm going to show you what Chris just hung up for me in there to hold my extra wreath forms. He just hung that up yesterday for me. And I, then I have another tool chest that I could fill with things, but I'm not sure what I want to do with it yet. It tends to get stuff piled on top of it and then I can't get into it. So I have not been using it, but I do have it out there to utilize and I'll show you that too. Then I'll take you downstairs, <laughs> which I can't even believe I'm gonna do, but I will show you a work in progress down there and show you where all my Christmas bins are and my fall bins and patriotic and Easter and the other stuff I need to purge, which might be a while. So anyway, I'll be right back and behind the camera. Alrighty, here I am out in the garage fixing to show you my little hub here that I've finished. I do want to show you this never wet fabric water repelling treatment. This really does work. I spray it on all of my reeds and bows and I even spray it on flowers and pip berries and other things that I have outside. Alrighty, here was episode one's day and what I accomplished that day along with that burlap, basket of burlap. Here was day two, the lanterns, which you guys didn't see me organize. I didn't purge any. I do have a few <laughs> extra lanterns there. That is an owl lamp. There's my bunny. I got an and that the other day, waiting patiently to be added to my Easter decor whenever I get going on that. And here are the other things that I organized yesterday. Or in episode two, I should say. It wasn't even yesterday. I had some computer problems yesterday. I couldn't do anything, but I fixed it. So those are all empty up there. And then today's project was, there's my signs, my mailbox signs. There are my mailbox signs and my flags. And this one I didn't even open because I know I want to keep everything in there. It has extra wooden plates and other trays and stuff that I switch out for my lantern decor. And then here's my mailbox covers and I'm going to keep them right there because it's a nice flat surface and they won't get messed up. So there are my mailbox covers. And here's the deco mesh. And I'll have even room to put more in. Or for even have room for burlap if I need. So there are my shelves. I do have a couple of wreaths hanging out here too, by the way. <laughs> I've just got hooks everywhere. This one will go up in the kind of late summer. That's a deco mesh wreath. That's that black, or the, shucks, that's that red and with jute running through it, deco mesh. And then that's a teal one down there that I put up in the, up in the fall. This is the awning tube. <laughs> I can't get to that wreath right now. So I also wanted to show you over here what Chris Put up for me. He put up these nice big hooks. Can you see? And I can hang all of my extra wreath frames. I'm going to be using this one in just a little while. This big one to do a St. Patrick's Day wreath. And then here's that tool chest I was talking about. I do have some gazing balls and look, more candles down there. I really do need to get rid of those. Those are all trash. And I don't really have anything in this. So I'll be thinking of what to use this for and you guys will know when I know. <laughs> and here is all the stuff that I am going to be sending to, taking to Goodwill. I'm going to get my hair done tomorrow. 
goodness knows my grays are waving at me in the mirror. So I'm gonna go get my hair done tomorrow and I'll drop this off. We have a big Goodwill Center really close to where I get my hair done. And this is my car. You can see my newfies. <laughs> and little Gracie on the back. All right, I'm gonna take you downstairs real quick. Alrighty, you guys, here we are in my basement. We are in the middle of purging. So all of this is going away. And my reeds were all hanging up there on a dowel. But for now, they're all laying here on these shelves because Chris is making this room. He's gonna be putting sheetrock up and so on. So he is going to hang my wreaths somewhere else, but they will eventually hang up. But one thing good about me making the wreaths that if they get smushed a little bit, I can fix them. But here is my part of the basement. It's that. This is the little portion that I said I would I need to come down here and purge and go through. I still have some. This little girl, she'll go up for Easter, those two little bunnies there. But there's another lantern. Somebody had asked me about if I'd made a, a wreath for Easter. And I have. And this will go up and I'll do a voiceover for that little wreath. This is all of my fall stuff. All of my fall bins. Except for these two here. And this is all the red and white gingham stuff. Remember I told you I had hosted our family reunion? Well, that's where all of that decor is. All fall. Tons and tons of fall. All of those bins down there are fall. That is, and that is. There's my patri one of my patriotic bins up there, and one there. And then my Easter is there and above that. And I'm not sure what's in that one on the top, but maybe in there too. And then here's Christmas. <laughs> Cheesy peasy, huh? Here's Christmas. Christmas is obviously my largest decorating time of the year. It's all of my Christmas wreaths that I made. I made that one. And I made that one this year. And there's that deco mesh we saw a little earlier. There's my dad's wreath that I made for him. That does it for episode three. As I said, I don't know what episode four will be or if it will be anytime soon, but there eventually will be an episode four. <laughs> so for now, I will just say, until next time, y'all take good care. Bye-bye.